Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Manjaro 21 on the left hand side versus Ubuntu 22.04 on the right hand side long term service release. So these are both the latest versions of their respective operating systems here. And we'll take a bit of a look. So they are actually both running on the uh, GNOME desktop environment there as well. Although, albeit they are both a customized version, particularly Ubuntu there. So we can see we've got the activities menu. Uh, in fact, we've got a few, uh, like the, the task bar on the bottom for Fumanjaro, similar sort of story, but uh, very Ubuntu-ish. Uh, so it's on the, the sort of the, the middle left-hand side there instead. I actually use Ubuntu as my uh, daily driver, but uh, I try not to show any biases here because I actually love both of these operating systems. But uh, we've got our search menu for the application that we want. We type it in and away we go. So that's how that one works there. If we were to say right click, uh, it's really quite good. Ubuntu is one of the very few or on, almost only operating systems that uh, for GNOME has the the nice context menu here. Every other GNOME version, ha version has this uh, sort of stock standard three options. I don't want to change the desktop background every day, all the display settings, all settings, and yet uh, that's all the three options there. We've got a few more options, not the least of which is the open terminal, which I, I've just, I've just got to love. It's those little things that make a difference, big difference to me. If we have a quick look at the, the file managers here, so we can see that uh, we're actually running on the GNOME files file manager. So it is the same for both of them, but it is customized a little bit differently for each. Might zoom in there to make them look as similar as possible. Now I'm lo really loving what uh, Manjaro is doing. It's got the nice uh, uh, dark mode by default and the uh, the blue icon sets. Similar sort of story with uh, Ubuntu. In fact, I changed these to, uh, see the, the top bit of the file folder? I changed it to blue, just my favorite color. In fact, that's not all I was changing. I was changing the little dots there, a few little bits and pieces, the, the highlights and accents there. So um, yeah, yeah, you can actually change that color. But I think by default it was uh, purple. But um, yeah, they both look lovely there, and that's the main thing. I guess as long as you can right click on both of them and, and open a terminal, that's the main thing there as well. Uh, let's see, uh, up next is the, let's have a look at the kernel. So we've got the 5.15 kernel for Manjaro, uh, whereas we've got also the 5.15 kernel for Ubuntu. Probably it's important to say at this point that Manjaro runs on the Arc Linux backend, whereas the, the backend for Ubuntu is uh, Debian there. But they are, pr yeah, pretty much the same kernel, obviously, there, and uh, fairly recent kernels there as well. So you've got newer instruction sets, good for uh, supporting uh, later and greater hardware too. Last but not least, let's have a look at the, the uh, CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So idly enough there for both of them, for the CPU, RAM on boot up for Manjaro is 740 megabytes of RAM just so far, and Ubuntu 830. So much of a muchness, a little bit more for Ubuntu, but it is, uh, I would say actually a highly, well, a fairly to highly customized variant, uh, GNOME desktop environment variant. So you gotta take that uh, into account. Having said that, always take these figures with a grain of salt. I mean, uh, well, once you load a whole bunch of things, uh, apps on your machine, these figures will drastically change, but that's the nature of computing, am I right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.